Hi folks, this is Jay. I hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. Uh, we're looking at an introduction to the Gospels. We're looking at the composition of the Gospels. We've just looked recently at the historical reliability of the Gospels. And we're looking at um, how we understand the Gospels in terms of who wrote them and why they're written and how we're to see them. Scholars demarcate the Gospels into the Synoptic Gospels and the Gospel of John. The reason why they do that is they scholars see there are similarities. So, for example, um, we read in Matthew chapter 9, verse 6, um, we read, But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. Then he said to the paralytic, Get up and take your mat and go home. Then we have in Mark chapter 2, 10, 11, But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, I tell you, get up, take your mat. And go home and then we have in Luke 5 24 but that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins he said to the paralyzed man I tell you get up take up your mat and go home so you see that there are uh, similarities and uh, Dr. Peter Walker says the three Gospels Matthew Mark and Luke are often known as the synoptics because they actually look at things from as it were similar perspectives similar glasses if you like that can sometimes give the impression why do we need three when one would be sufficient it would be sad to lose any one of the three synoptic gospels because they do actually each contribute something slightly different and it's worth just seeing some of the differences between them mark's gospel is the gospel which has got far more color than some of the other gospels and actually tells some of the individual stories at greater length even though it's a shorter gospel its individual stories are told at a greater length it's Matthew who then squeezes those stories into a much shorter compass because he's trying to put so much more into the gospel. And in particular, Matthew is trying to put the teaching of Jesus, which Mark's gospel strangely omits most of Jesus' teaching. So Matthew's gospel gives us a very authoritative Jesus, a teaching Jesus, and if you want a kind of compact compendium of Jesus' teaching, Matthew's gospel is it. But what Luke gives us? Well, Luke gives us yet more teaching Luke has given us the parables in particular many more than Matthew and he also has given us a far more sort of human portrait of Jesus making contact with the kinds of people and very inclusive loving caring Jesus some people think that Luke was not just a medical doctor but also something of a psychologist he's able to convey human emotion really well and I think therefore in the three gospels we've got three very precious different texts which we need to evaluate value each of them dr peter walker so i'm quoting you eminent scholars here by the way uh so we see that there are the synoptic gospels uh but they have similarity but there are nuanced differences as well and we've got to bear these points in mind